A North Nashville pastor with a history of helping is getting some aid of his own tonight. Bishop Marcus Campbell fell on hard times due to COVID-19 and his constant caring for others. As News Channel 5's Kyle Haran shows us, when times get tough, his community showed up for him too. Did y'all get you a little surprise? <laughs> Rarely is a visit to Mount Carmel Baptist Church in North Nashville so emotional for Bishop Marcus Campbell. Well, you know what? God put us in your life for a reason. Yep. My mind is blown. I gotta sit down. Yeah. Well, he's, he came. He's in shock, I'm sure. Sitting in the makeshift classroom he built for kids to attend school virtually, these are tears of stress relieved. I want it to be all about you and Stacy for once. Friends of Campbell's found out a hard truth this past weekend. Bishop Campbell is a man that you can describe mainly as charitable. He gives hope to former juvenile gang members, shows them a better life. He's given thousands in toy drives and food. He's helped countless people through the years. Most recently, he helped the children of essential workers have a safe place to attend class virtually. But Bills have been piling up due to the pandemic. And it's real expensive to feed about 50 to 60 kids every day. Uh, breakfast, lunch, and then give them a snack. Make sure they got materials to write on. Uh, making sure that our internet was strong enough here to try to uh, help them all get on at the same time. Aid that is so desperately needed. Campbell doesn't make a salary from the church and increased costs meant bills weren't getting paid. Even at home, for his family of seven. Campbell found himself in the hospital. He says it was due to stress. It's just not enough rest, you know, and just stressing on my bills at home, making sure I can continue to do this for these people and to help these kids. When Pat Brown and others found out this past weekend, they sprung into action. I knew his health was going down, and that's why I knew there was something besides what I was seeing, and that's I'm so glad I did. They made a GoFundMe, a call to help a man who has done so much. A day later, it's almost near the $25,000 goal. If you die, where will we all be? The money will be used for bills at the church and at home for Campbell for as long as possible. As long as we could try to keep the lights on and be able to have a place for them to come, this is like their safe haven. And uh, I was like, you know what? It ain't about the money anyway. It's about helping mankind. Campbell says he's so grateful. What they done today, so it took a lot of stress off of me. But he may not realize he's getting treated the way he treats everyone else. Kyle Haran, News Channel 5. What a happy ending. The GoFundMe for Campbell is on our website, newschannel5.com.